Malaysia is located in southern Asia and borders four other countries: Indonesia, Thailand, Singapore, and Brunei. Malaysia is home to about 25 million people. The local climate is equatorial and is characterized by annual southwest and northeast monsoons. Malaysian architecture is very interesting and can be quite elaborate. For example, in the capital city of Kuala Lumpur, one finds the famous Petronas Twin Towers, which are 450 meters tall. At the Malaysian Meteorological Department in Kuala Lumpur, scientists are able to analyze seismic data and tide gauge data in real time and thus are able to monitor earthquake activity as well as potential tsunamis. There are currently 14 very high quality seismic stations operating throughout the country with plans to install another three stations. The meteorological department receives data not only from their own seismic stations, but also utilizes seismic stations within the global seismic network. This telephone bank allows rapid communications from the meteorological department to different Malaysian precincts. This impressive facility creates a very efficient monitoring system that provides earthquake and tsunami warnings for the people of Malaysia. Another important institution in Malaysia is the Academy of Sciences. Well, the Academy of Sciences was founded about 12 years ago. Uh, I was one of the foundation members. We had the first 50 foundation members. Then every year we had about uh, an increase about 5 to 6 percent in membership. Uh, we were very selective in increasing our membership. Now we have about 146 members. Because Malaysia is located on a stable portion of the Sunda Shelf, earthquakes are relatively rare in Malaysia. However, the country is located not far from the very active Indonesian island arc subduction zone, which is moving to the north. Likewise, the seismically active Philippines Trench is located to the east of Malaysia. Overall, the northward motion of the Austro-Indian Plate, combined with the southward motion of the Eurasian Plate, means that Malaysia is surrounded by many active earthquake zones. Tsunamis are rare in Malaysia, but a strong wave did strike the northwest coast on December 26, 2004. Future strong tsunamis may be generated at the Philippine Trench located to the east. Tsunami warnings are therefore very important, particularly for Sabah province in eastern Malaysia. It's coming again. It's coming again? Yeah, it's coming again. You must find it. It's coming again, new way. Yeah. They call me on here. Aside from being surrounded by active tectonics, Malaysia's location in southern Asia makes it an excellent country for international trade. We were at one time the largest tin producer. Of course, now our tin production has dropped from 100,000 uh, tons down to about 4,000 tons. Then in early days, rubber was a big thing. Later, we followed up with palm oil, um, cocoa. We had diversified agriculture. And when uh, we had a bad period, when all the agricultural commodities went down, well, we had to go into manufacturing, so we became a trading nation through manufacturing. 
Major mineral resources in Malaysia range from metals such as tin and gold to industrial minerals such as coal, limestone, and granite. There, there's a lot of shipping. I think it's one of the uh, most densely used uh, shipping lanes in the world. And so far, we have been able to manage it quite well. Uh, there have been the odd spill, but no, nothing serious. We, we can consider another type of hazard uh, in Malaysia is sinkholes. Sinkholes? In uh, limestone country. Uh, usually it's tied up with either when we put in a basement and we dewater the area, then sometimes sinkholes do occur. Or some are related to tin mining activity because you have to dewater the mine hole and the surrounding areas do get affected.